welcome to day one of our easy head to toe chair yoga. All that's required for today's practice is a lovely seat, one that will hopefully stay pretty stable and steady. If it doesn't have arms on the side, that's great too. Gives you just a little more space and freedom. But once you've got that comfortable chair and some clothes that you can move and stretch in, go ahead and find your feet on the earth. That might require coming a little bit more forward if you're like myself and a little vertically challenged. But once you've got your feet on the earth, start to feel your seat on the seat. Lengthen up through the crown of the head and go ahead and relax your shoulders down your back. Your hands might simply rest in your lap or even just alongside the body or even on your thighs. But simply taking a moment here, start to feel your body breathing. Feel the breath as it enters and exits the body. And start to feel that expansion of the breath. Feel it deepen and smooth. And notice how it's not only in the front of the ribs, but also in the sides and the back body. Good, just a couple more rounds of breath here to center ourselves. Beautiful. And when you're ready, start to flutter, open your eyes, adjusting to the lights. Beautiful. And we'll begin by simply finding just a little bit of movement with our feet, a little march, and then we'll even invite our arms. Keep that spine nice and tall, heart lifted. If it's too much with the arms, feel free to just focus on the lower legs and find the pace that works for you. Might be slower, might be a little quicker. Good, but breathing. Good, few more rounds of breath, getting a little warmth and movement in the body, getting our joints moving and grooving. Good, one final breath here. If you can, let the arms relax, keep the legs going, hold the march. Good. And then from here, we're gonna alternate heel taps. So one out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Good, and again, find that pace that works for you. Can be slower, can be quicker, as long as you're breathing that smooth breath. And it might quicken with our pace, with our activity. That's perfectly okay. Good, and as long as your breath is smooth, it might be a quickened pace, but we just wanna keep breathing. In and out through the nose if you can. Good. And then either staying here just with the lower half of your body or if you'd like to invite in your upper body, we're gonna let our arms come down alongside our body. Good, and then we're gonna press back and forward. Good. Awesome, keep that heart lifted. Shoulders down the back. Good. You can release the arms if it's too much. Try and keep that pace through the lower body. Good, for five, four, three, two. Good, last one. 
Beautiful. All right. Let your arms open up into T. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and find some shoulder rolls forward. Good. Big breath in. Sighing breath out. Good. One more. Maybe feel that burn a little bit. I know I am. Good. And then reverse. Beautiful. Great. Once you're complete, let the circles come to stillness. We're going to cross the arms in front and back, front and back. Good. If it's a little too much with the straight arms, you can do it with the elbows. I know I'm feeling it in my shoulders. How about you? Good. And then keeping this movement with our upper body, with our arms. We're gonna to start to invite in the lower body. Good, so bring up one knee, the other. Good, and it might be a shorter distance. You don't have to lift it quite as high. It might be nice and high, it might be quicker, it might be slower. Find what works for you. Good, for five, four, Three, two, last one. Good, awesome. Whoo, we wiggle out those shoulders, wiggle out the head and neck. Good, let's give it a nice stretch. So letting your right arm float forward. We're gonna draw it across the chest. Grab a hold of your forearm, turn the thumb up palms sort of facing back and then really extend through those fingers and as we pull this right arm in against the chest as best as we can roll those shoulders down your back good keep reaching through those fingertips good two more big full breaths here Awesome, last one. Good, relax that right elbow. Maybe shake out the arms. Good, and then second side, left arm floats up. It's gonna cross over to the right. We're gonna grab a hold of the forearm. Little external rotation, thumb up, palm behind you. Press and reach out through those fingers, lift the heart, roll the shoulders, pull this left upper arm into the chest, feel this outer shoulder into the upper arm, get a nice little stretch and release. Good, big breath in. Hmm. Beautiful. Notice how those movements at the beginning of our class have really started to sort of turn that furnace on, feeling a little warm, feeling that quickened heart rate and breath. But we're slowing it down. We're breathing. Good. Soften that left elbow. Release the grip. Shake it off. Good. All right. From here, we're going to lift the right knee. You're welcome to use your hands for support, or if you've got the core support, belly draws in, lift the chest, float this knee. The distance between the floor and the foot doesn't really matter. It can be low, it can be high, but once you're here, circle that right ankle. Good. Keep the spine lifted. Switch directions if you haven't done so already. Good, let that movement come to stillness and then circling the lower leg. So again, you can hold onto the thigh, keep that chest lifted. Just the lower leg sort of circles and rotates. This is really good for our knee. Smaller movements if that is requested. Good. Switch direction. 
Good. And then following our movement up this right leg, we get we got the ankle, then we hit the knee. Now we're getting into the hip. So release the grip if you're holding on to the thigh. Circle this right leg. Good. Can come wide to the side, but it's more sort of about circling that knee forward than opening it really wide. But if it feels good, go ahead. Good. Switch direction. Awesome. And then slowly lower that right leg down. Good. Let's switch to the second side, left side. Again, you can use your hands for support. Lift up, lengthen through the spine. You can keep a hold or release. Circle that left ankle. Good. Release any little kinks and cracks. Good. Switch directions. Hmm. Awesome. Good work. Once you feel complete with your ankle joint, we're going to move into the lower leg, circling it. Grab a hold of the thigh if that serves you. If you're finding you're collapsing and rounding again, lift up. Good. Heart open, nice and broad across the chest. Good, switch directions. Support that knee as we breathe. Good, and then circling through the hip joint. So be mindful, second side might be different. Maybe it's larger movements, maybe it's smaller. Good, maybe it's faster or slower. Good, switch the direction. Awesome. You can use your hands for support or let the body do it. Good. Once you're complete, circle that left leg round. Awesome. Lengthen up. Big breath in. As we exhale, extend the right leg. Flex through the right foot. So press out through the heel. Toes draw up and back. There's a little soft bend in the knee. You can find your hands on your left thigh. Inhale to lift. Good. As we exhale, hinge from the hips. Let the chest come forward. Hands might even slide down this right leg. Find a slight tuck of the chin as we hold and breathe into the back of this right hamstring. So think of the right sitting bone as reaching back for your seat as you press out through that right heel. So this right leg is nice and long and strong. There is that little bit of softness or deeper softness, especially if you're quite tight in the hamstring. Good. One more big breath. Beautiful. Using your hands, press into this left thigh or knee, lift the chest, walk yourself back. You can use your hand to help bend that right leg, draw it back in. Give a little wiggle, and then when you're ready, big breath in. Lift and lengthen, exhale, extend the left leg. Press out through the heel, toes press as they draw towards the shin. Again, that soft little bend in the left leg on this side. Good. Inhale to lengthen and lift. Hands might find this right thigh. Exhale to hinge. Good. Chest is coming over nice and tall. You might be able to come deeper. It might be not quite as much. Find where you're able to feel that stretch through the back of the leg. And then tuck the chin. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. And breathe into the back of this left leg. Again, nice, strong, active leg. So heel is pressing, reaching, sit bone, lengthening back. Good. One more big breath in. Great, good work. From here, hands on that right thigh, press, lengthen as you lift the chest, lift this tall spine, come back up. 
use your hands, help support as we bend into that left leg. Good. If you're quite forward on the edge of your seat, feel free to come about midway on the seat. Let your right hand come down alongside the body. Let's inhale, left arm out to the side, up overhead, and lean as those right fingers sort of drop down, shoulders away from the ear. Breathe into the left side body. Think about lifting and opening this chest, so maybe even drawing that left elbow back ever so slightly. Good, and then pressing into the seat, belly draws in as we reach up, come back up, lower that left arm down. Good, inhale, right arm out to the side, up overhead, and as we exhale, we lean to the left side. Again, that left arm just sort of dangles. It can rest on the thigh if you desire. Relax your shoulders, relax the head, neck, and jaw. Good. Again, maybe think about opening this chest, sort of rolling that shoulder and elbow back ever so slightly. Big breath in. And full breath out. Good. Two more here. Good, and then again, as we exhale, pull that navel in. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Start to draw the torso back up. Lower that right arm. Good, again, snuggle a little forward towards the edge of your seat. Inhale, lengthen and lift. As we exhale, reach back. Maybe grab a hold of the seat. Maybe grab a hold of the back of the chair whatever works, but we want to feel that heart draw forward, shoulders down the back. Try not to forget about the lower half. Try not to let those knees splay open. There's a slight engagement in order to keep them drawing towards each other. Big breath in. And out. Good. One more. Beautiful. Keeping the length, open the arms out into T. Let's circle the wrists. Let the fingers be nice and soft. They might gently curl in. Good. Switch the direction. Awesome. Good. Last couple rotations. Might feel good to feel into the fists a little bit. Curl those fingers in. Again, switch the direction. Good. And then let that come to stillness. Lower. Beautiful. All right, final movement here. Inhale to lengthen. As we exhale, right ear over the right shoulder. Soften those shoulders down your back. Feel those collarbones press wide, press back. And breathe into the left side of the neck. Hmm. Let your eyes softly close if they're not already. And then feeling into your seat. Press down as you reach up through the crown. Slowly draw the head back up through center. Give a little wobble, a little shake. And then inhale to reach. Exhale, second side, left ear, left shoulder. Shoulders down the back. Hmm. Good, breathing into that right side of the neck. Noticing any tension or tightness that you might be holding here. Beautiful. All right, pressing into the seat. Again, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Slowly draw the head back up. A little wobble, a little shake. 
hands can simply rest in your lap, keeping your eyes softly closed. Come back to the body, come back to the breath. And notice what you might be experiencing in this moment. A little more warmth in the body. Might still have a quickened heart rest, heart rate. So find that smooth flowing breath in and out through the nose. Beautiful. Once you're complete, let your hands start to float up to heart center, palms touching with a slight tuck of our chin above our forehead. Take this moment for gratitude, gratitude for our healthy, willing, and abled bodies, even when they don't feel so able or willing. It's great that we took the time to get on our mat and in our chair to find that little bit of movement and connection to breath. Good, thank you for joining. Take good care, namaste.